I've been a sturdy tree Growing strong for a century Roots and branches, rings and burls But I want to see the great wide world I want to see the great wide world This is my home These rolling hills, horse farms Gravel roads, vineyards, and creeks. They frame a place with both a reverence for tradition and a spirit of innovation. There is an old music in these hills, kept alive and reinvigorated by young and old alike. I've been blessed with a life coaxing songs out of the air and from the mystery of imagination. While I travel all over, many of my songs are inspired by stories from around my home, near the beautiful Blue Ridge and Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Home is a land of ghosts, of creative spirits and artisans. One of those artisans is my friend, Martin Fair. Marty is a luthier, a craftsman, or perhaps a magician. Someone who coaxes sound out of trees at his fair built guitar company. It's gonna be a long process getting it getting it built and you know, deciding what to do and how to do it and all of that. There's there's lots of little detailed decisions, but then again to sort of hand over my musical mojo, if you will, to somebody who does this, you know, at the highest level of, of craftsmanship and say, you know, build something that you think is going to really work for me and it's going to coax new things out of me as an artist too. That, that's really exciting to, to feel that kind of trust in somebody in your, your main tool of your work, you know. This is my life's work. It's my calling. It's what I... I can't not sing these songs. Excited to talk guitars today, man. Been looking right. forward to this. Me too. So I, I want to make uh, a walnut back and sides, uh, red spruce top, um, walnut neck, OM size guitar, uh, same size, uh, I mean, uh, fingerboard dimensions like your Martin. Right. Um, scale length. We want not small tuning machines. Correct. That's right. and, and <laughs> so I have to see what the options are, what, what looks right on there. Um, are you at all opposed to my curvy finger uh, headstock? No. Okay. No. Uh, the headstock uh, design is completely yeah, your your choice. Yeah. I I you know the I do make a square one as well. It's more Martin esque. But I like the look of that though. That's a nice look. And and frankly, you know, the, the main things for me have been about sound and, and, and yeah. biomechanics, about body geometry. So really, the other things like this, I want you to make a guitar that you, you really are happy to have people see, you know, in all these different settings. Okay. And that uh, the whole sort of concept, I, I'm sure, would, would also be, as far as rosette and other trim nothing too ostentatious i would think right um, utilitarian but beautiful right yeah i've heard of its usefulness uh elegant so, simplicity so what other things um when we were going to just hold off on thinking about some of the other details as far as binding and, and some of the aesthetics um including some possible inlay that's sort of mountain related. Something up here, something yes. of home would be nice. It'd be nice to bring a little bit of that sort of Blue Ridge kind of feel along with it. Okay. 
Well then, that's, I'd like to do, so two more with everything the same that we're talking about, except uh, try to do one with a walnut top mm -hmm. and walnut back and sides and neck. Um, and then just because you're playing a maple guitar that you love so much now, uh, and maple is everywhere around here, mm -hmm. um, it seems like we should make one of those with maple back and sides and a maple neck as well. Yeah. Because that all works really well. Yeah. And, Be interesting uh, to play the three guitars side by side, huh? With a, another red spruce top on that. Um, and it will be. They'll all be. I'll make them as much the same as possible, except for the materials. Right. And uh, so that'll be that'll be useful information for me as well. The great experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Our state is home to some masterful builders, like Wayne Henderson and the Huss and Dalton Company. Marty is one of the next generation in that distinguished trade. Meet the sun or storm and tumble to the forest floor. Smooth cut sand and shaped and stained by a craftsman's hand. I'm born again. By a craftsman's hand, I'm born again. Doing it by hand, you just have one cut, and it's actually a cleaner cut and a better joint when you glue it up. So. That just holds the two pieces together in this big long plane. <laughs> wow. It drives them off. Nice. Carve away a bunch of material on the ends and then you have to deal with the middle how much uh, <laughs> wow so there dang that makes it easy and uh it's beautiful so that goes into the mold and end block and the neck block gets clamped in with the other side and then we're up to where that other one is and the braces it's important uh, the braces yeah. are actually sitting on that ledge so I route out a little channel for each of the ends to sit on and that, that so one. yeah the way I'm doing next is to uh, I've got two, two pieces of graphite uh, fiber uh, inlaid next to the truss rod mm -hmm. And they're super strong. Mark where the bridge goes. Scrape off the lacquer like this mm -hmm. so that you get a good glue Sink. joint between the two. Right. And also mark where this is going to eventually get glued. And scrape that off. Uh, and then it's final fitting left and right, up and down, and making everything you know, fit snugly all the way around so it looks good um, and then it'll get glued on and at that point um, I can temporarily string it up with a, a piece I use a brass uh, rod instead of a saddle it has no saddle slot cut yet so I can put the tuners on make a knot string it up with the brass rod I can slide it around until the intonation is correct and then mark it and route the slot for the saddle. Ah, nice. They are finally all done bring him in and check him out and see which one Andrew wants to take home with him. Today's the day, the big test. I get to pick my guitar today and take it home. A 
in his quest to capture the sound of home, Marty had been busy. After nearly two years, countless hours in the shop, piles of scraps and sawdust, and lots of thought and skill, he now had six nearly identical guitars. Each had the same neck and body design, and the same West Virginia high mountain red spruce top, but with a different local native wood for the back and sides. We visited our friend and founding nitty-gritty dirt band member Les Thompson at his cabin studios so we could record and compare the audio fingerprint of each guitar. I would play the same piece of music on each in a blind test, and when done, I'd get my pick of the litter. It was time to see and hear the results of the great experiment. How's that? That sounded just like the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. I clanked in all the same places, too. <laughs> this is fun, man. I'm really, I'm really dying to hear how this oh, yeah. all transpires. If nothing that, else, you've learned how consistently you can make a guitar. That's it. Then that's, it really yeah, is a test it. of boutwood then, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If all the tops are the same. Yeah, I mean, mo it's cool. then, yeah. then it's really, a, 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 the, it's, it's not like that you're going to throw a cedar in there that's going to totally change. Yeah, uh, yeah it's just the back and sides for the most part. Yeah, that's an interesting... The necks are made good, out of different materials. But that's a good test, though, because then you can really make them out. You can pretty much narrow it down to whatever you want for your top to be... Matching the back woods. And, and you're not changing multiple variables in an experiment. Yeah. <laughs> so the experiment's actually really worthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. It's a beautiful instrument. Someone ought to own this instrument. Yeah. I mean, how do you go wrong? <laughs> so, give me the big reveal. What's number one? Number one's walnut. Um, let's see. Is that one from your property? Or was it the locust and the it's, cherry that was from your property? Well, let's see. The locust was from, from my property. It may be the only thing. Um, the walnut, I think I got from my friend Ken, who's, who probably cut it. You know, locally, he, he right. cut it himself um, somewhere. He lives, you know, just ten miles away, five miles away. Um, they all play something really nicely. Oh, I have number but one. In terms of like what played everything I did most nicely, so number it's, one seemed like it was it. So it seems like you like number one and and four as far all around. So it'd be nice to hear one and four together. Just a little double tone. Right. <laughs> It's about ready to make its big debut, eh? Yeah. Thanks, man. It's been a real pleasure Likewise. watching it come to life, hasn't it? Let's do this thing. Across this land, I found my voice in your hand. 